Welcome back, Beaver fans. This is Tyler Bruner, the intern, and we are back again with another amazing interview. Today, we have the head coach for the football team here at BVU, uh, Coach Grant Mooring. Uh, coach, how we doing? We're doing great. It's it's almost kickoff time, so we're excited to get going. It's an exciting time for Beaver football. Um, and as you prepare for this game, Coach, um, we've had a couple of, you have a lot of practice under, under your butt at this point. Um, what, what are kind of the, the expectations coming into this first game with the Hamlin Pipers? Well, we need to see how our guys are going to respond to, you know, a little bit of adversity. You know, you, you try to set yourself up to see that during practice. It's hard to simulate. Um, but it's also a chance where we get a rally behind each other. You know, don't not normally in, a, in, in practice do you get a rally behind a great play on offense. You know, the defensive guys are usually upset because it happened to them or a turnover by the defense. So um, it's an exciting time to see how the, our guys are going to respond. Um, we want to respond the right way. We want to we want to take things one play at a time, and then uh, you know things that we're looking for specifically are, are aggressive on both sides of the ball offensively, in terms of the play calling and the execution. Uh, aggressive and defensively, they need to pin their ears back and be a lot more aggressive aggressive than we have been in the past. So you're coming into your third year as head coach of this team. Uh, it's been a rough road for you in, in your multiple squads that you've had. A lot of seniors, lots of really great talent. What's kind of the, the goals coming into year three, um, and especially for uh, to, to get this this uh, whole campus behind you? Yeah, we're building the program the right way. You know, we're building it through. Um, right now, we have a great junior class. You know, seniors. We we ended up with nine seniors this year. Um, only three of them were guys that we didn't recruit. So six of those nine seniors are guys we brought in. Um, I think we have 15, 16 juniors, and that was our kind of our first recruiting class. Um, a good group of sophomores that played a lot of football last year and then a very large group of freshmen which is going to kind of be the norm until we get our numbers to where we want to be so um, you know we, we have to take incremental steps I thought we took steps last year as a program the win and loss record didn't show it um, but we lost four close games in, in the fourth quarter so our guys know that they're competitive um, we're not the doormat uh, we don't plan on being there um, so it, it's exciting to get these guys to, you know, to roll the ball out and, and, and see all the, the work that we've done off the field in terms of our culture and, and the weight room and things like that. So um, you're going to see some good things from this football program. Right. And uh, looking ahead, what are some of the games that are must-see coming into this season that fans should be excited for? Well, I think we got to get off to a good start. You know, um, two out of our first three are at home, so we're on the road um, with Hamlin on Thursday, and that and that's a game that, that we're going to match up very similar to them. They're a program kind of going through the same things we are. They're very young. Um, then we'll come back home with Concordia, which will be a really tough opponent out of the GPAC Conference and the NAI um, out from Nebraska. Um, we, we lost a heartbreaker down there to them last year, um, but they were all freshmen and sophomores last year, so they're a, a, another year older and they've kind of figured out some things with the new head coach as well. And then we come back home, or we stay at home actually, and we get Nebraska Wesleyan for, for homecoming, which we played um, late in the season last year and lost a heartbreaker on the three-yard line down there. So um, our guys need to get some confidence early. We need to, we need to, to take care of business and as much as we can during those three games, and that kind of sets us up for the meat of the conference. Now, Coach, my last question for you, as, as you've seen your squad develop in these uh, first couple of weeks of, of practice, and now as you're coming, coming into your first game tomorrow against Hamlin, what's one of the things that surprised you about this squad? You talked about the big freshman group coming in, the great junior leaders that you have coming in. What's the one big thing that surprised you thus far? Well, I think the thing that's impressed me the most and impressed our staff the most is, is the culture. Um, you know, we've got some really good leadership um, within our players, not just from the coaches anymore. It's coming from the players, so that always means more. Um, they've done a really good job of, of making these freshmen feel at home, whether it's been on their recruiting visit or whether it's been since we've started fall camp. So our freshmen are, are not acting like freshmen. They're, they're walking around like they've been here around, around a little bit, and they're, they're comfortable. Um, so that's that's a testament to our older guys and how well they've done of, of bringing those guys into the circle. So the culture has been the biggest, been the toughest cha change for us as a program over the last three seasons. But it's also the most rewarding because you know these guys are building friendships that'll last for a lifetime, not just throughout the football season. Exactly. Well, coach, if I don't see you tomorrow, good luck tomorrow in, in the contest. You'll be home, like you said, three times, and hopefully that first game will get a swarm of blue and gold in the stands, and hopefully have a great ovation to bring you guys home. So good luck, and uh, we'll hope to see you later on this season. All right, thanks, Tyler.